In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add this little score panel up in the top left hand corner of our game screen. Uh, all we have to do is shoot the enemy to get one point added to our score. And that score is just going to keep going up by one point each time we shoot our enemy ships. Okay, so pretty simple to do. Let's head on over to Scratch now and we'll create this score panel. You will need to open your project that you have been working on. Uh, by now you should have your spaceship and your background working. You'll have bullets that shoot and you can shoot the bad guy. What we want to do is add one point to our score each time we shoot that enemy. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to need to create a variable. So in your coding tab, just go down to the variables section here. Now a variable, I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. It's like a bucket that holds information. Now in today's tutorial, we're going to be holding the information of the score in our game. Our score will start at zero. And as I mentioned just before, each time we shoot the enemy, we're going to change that score by one point. So our bucket will start, or our variable will start, holding um, the number zero. And if we shoot our enemy for the first time, that bucket is emptied. And the number zero is replaced with a new number, which is the number one. And as we keep shooting ships throughout our game, that score is going to keep going up and up and up. So the information in that bucket just keeps getting replaced with new information. Okay, so let's get started on making this variable by, as I said, going to the variables tab here and selecting the button that says make a variable. And the variable name is going to be score. And that is going to be for all sprites. And click on OK. And all we need to do to make our score add up um, by one point each time we hit the enemy ship is go to, in the variables tab, change my variable by one. And I want you to drag it and drop it below where the bullet hits the space or the enemy spaceship. So just here is where I want it. And where it says change my variable, that should be saying change the score by one. Okay, so it's under that sound zoop. So when the bullet hits the spaceship, we play a sound zoop, and then at the same time, we also change our score up here by one point. Let's have a look. Press the green flag, we'll shoot a bad guy when he comes down. We've got one added to our score. Let's add it again. We've got two added to our score. I'll make that a bit bigger so you can see it. So one more. There. So you can see my score went up each time the bullet connected with the enemy ship. Now we have an issue here. If I was to start this game again, my score starts on three. So it's kind of picking up where I left off. Not overly ideal. We do want it to go back to zero each time we start our game. So I'm gonna make a new sprite here with nothing in it. So I want you to go to the new sprite option here and just paint your own sprite. But we're gonna leave it completely empty. Just go back to your code. The name of this sprite, we're gonna change from sprite one and in your properties box here, I'm just gonna call it controller. It's gonna control a few things in our game and one of them is going to be the score. So I'm gonna drag in some code, very simple code when the green flag is clicked. What do I want this score to do? Well, I'm gonna set it to zero. So in my variables here, I'm gonna set, not my variable, but I'm gonna set my score to zero. So each time I press the green flag now, my score will be set to zero. Now, just to quickly explain this controller sprite here, this is just running in the background. There's no actual sprite in our game that is controller. Remember, it's just invisible anyway. There's no actual picture on it. It's just running behind the scenes. So this is one of the things that I'd like to have running behind the scenes. So every time our game starts, the score resets to zero. So you can see it has reset to zero there. We'll just test it. Okay, we've got one there. I'll stop the game, restart it, and our score goes back to zero. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? That is our score panel working. So that only took us a couple of minutes to get that going. What I'm gonna show you in the next video is how to do something similar, but we're gonna play with lives. So we're gonna start with three lives, and if we get hit by the ships, we're gonna lose one life. Okay, so we'll look at that in the next video. Um, I'll see you then.